Here's a new number, 1%. The Cambridge University Global Review, the Economics of Climate Change, said the cost of mitigating global warming is 1% of global GDP. Creating the infrastructure and capacity to decrease emissions and improve efficiency will cost about $790 billion per year. Is that achievable? Well, let's look at spending for fossil fuel developments. North America Pipeline Plans Shell expansion in Canada and Qatar Shell Arctic Developments Investments by major Russian companies New oil refineries in Nigeria and Alberta Chevron's development in the North Sea, Congo and Venezuela The purchase of reserves, investment and exploration plans But that's not all. The International Energy Association in the United Nations say 2008 fossil fuel subsidies were between 500 and 700 billion dollars. In 2012, the Natural Resources Defense Fund says global fossil fuel subsidies are 775 billion dollars. The Climate Vulnerable Forum report, published in September 2012, says annual climate change costs are 1.2 trillion, 1,200 billion, mostly in less developed countries. The International Energy Agency estimates oil importing countries will spend $2 trillion on oil in 2012, and in 2013, and 2014, and 2015. So, let's do the math. $4,280 billion, the cost to keep burning oil, divided by $790 billion, the cost to convert the world to renewable energy, equals... Now what does this mean? It means the global cost of oil is more than five times the cost to abandon it. And we haven't even talked about the costs of coal. Nor have we talked about the hidden costs of fossil fuels. The U.S. National Academy of Sciences estimated illness due to fossil fuel pollution costs the United States healthcare system $120 billion per year. The USA is only about 4% of the global population. So what are the healthcare costs globally? $500 billion? $750 billion? More? Munich Ray, a top reinsurer, links the rapid rise in North American extreme weather catastrophes to fossil fuel-driven climate change. Climate-driven catastrophes in North America have risen from an average of 50 per year in the early 1980s to over 200 post-2005. We cannot sustain such massive loss of life and property. Catastrophe costs are building every year in North America and around the world. There is one other number in the Climate Vulnerable Forum report. 400,000. Climate change contributes to the deaths of nearly 400,000 people every year. 400,000 people every year. So, now we've done the math. Where do we go from here? Fossil fuels cost us much more to use than to abandon. Lives lost. Health costs. Environmental destruction. And money. Our money. Over five times as much money. We can move forward. We can prevent climate catastrophe. We must get off fossil fuels beginning now.